Recently, Northeast Ohio added a new museum to its vast collection of arts institutions. It's called Wonder Cleveland. It's located in a bit of an unconventional venue at the Great Lakes Shopping Mall in Mentor, Ohio. It's an arts exhibition space built on interactive technology that immerses you in fun and adventure. It's a lot of motion sensor technology, whether it's you're playing Pong with your Lego blocks, uh, whether it's seeing the spaceman dance around on the stage and shoot stars out of his hands like that and emulating all of your movement, um, whether it happens to be the, the life-size light bright that takes up the whole wall, all of those are kind of a, a virtual thing. Upon entering Wonder Cleveland, you check your imagination at the front door as you're surrounded by sound effects, music, and a collection of whimsical exhibits. You're here physically enjoying it with your friends, but of course it's high technology, so it's a virtual playground. It's motivated by how much fun can we produce in one environment. That's why you see it's so eclectic, because we just thought, oh, that sounds like fun. Okay, well, can we do that? Can we build this? And it's all over the place for that reason. Unlike most museums, at Wonder Cleveland, you're encouraged to touch, play, and engage with the exhibits. A lot of hands-on activities I wasn't expecting, um, especially this Lego exhibit, which probably is his favorite thus far. But lots of opportunities for photo um, and video, you know. I think there's a Cleveland Love sign over there. That's always a favorite to run into a Cleveland sign. So lots of music, lights, just really fun and energetic. I like building the Legos, and I also really like the jungle area. The idea of an adventure museum began in 2019 when its founder, Jason Percival, did a pop-up exhibit at the Great Lakes Mall in collaboration with Cleveland's Ingenuity Fest, an annual celebration of the arts, technology, and innovation. The way it began is that I actually, we opened up a Christmas-themed pop-up experiential museum in 2019 and had such a positive response. Eventually, the ownership group here approached me and then gave some good ideas and we said, okay, I think we can make this work. Percival brings a background in special events to the new space. I've been doing events for ATP Pro Tennis, PGA Golf, and um, large-scale concerts for about 10 or 12 years. This was something where it's indoors, it applies to everyone, every interest, every background, every age, everything, and it's open 365 days a year. So from an event production standpoint, it mitigates risks and it just expands everything that you can do because our goal is just to have fun. It's not to see someone hit a hole in one. It's not to see uh, sell out all the tickets for a NBA Finals game. Our goal is just what can we do to have the most fun with this. When COVID-19 struck and the travel, leisure, and entertainment industry tanked, Percival decided it was a good time to launch Wonder Cleveland. I have two unbelievable partners who I've been working with for many years on our concerts. So the two of us have been doing this kind of stuff together. And then um, the concept for this sort of came out of the pandemic, believe it or not, that um, we were both hurting because there's no live events going on for the past year. And we both had warehouses full of our stuff that was not going out. And we said, well, why don't we build this in an environment that can be pandemic safe, where we can control the number of people coming in, where we can make sure that everyone who comes in is placed you know, only 10 per hour or something like that. So made sense, um, they brought a lot of stuff here, I took all my stuff out and we just, we combined it all and built these beautiful exhibits and now, you know, we couldn't be any more thrilled with how all this worked out. The 17,000 square foot space includes a star-filled infinity room, selfie stations, and several motion tracking spaces that allow you to play with games like virtual Lego building blocks and a giant light bright board. Everything is custom built. So from the very first thing you see the Cleveland sign out front, for instance, we built that radio tower. <laughs> like just took rods and bent them into shape and everything, um, made it out of foam, um, created the hillscape that we wanted, and everything you see from that point on was custom built. There's nothing in here that we bought from a catalog. Um, there's nothing that we said, this looks cool, let's, let's bring this in. 100% uh, from the three of us by hand. Not all of the works are interactive. Some, like the Dr. Seuss exhibit, are more contemplative. We have laser projection on every other pixel. Um, this needs to be something that you can just observe and enjoy and really get in a tranquil mood and really appreciate the art that goes into it. To remain relevant, the museum plans to introduce new displays and bring in traveling exhibitions. We want to do seasonal, we want to do updates, and we want to do improvements all the time. So we'd like to grow this like trunks of a tree, where every time it's more and more immersive, where you're going into another world, another dimension every time you come in. So this is our starting point.
Everything here is experiential, so I, I believe that's the next trend. I think that it's going to be about the experiences. I think it's going to be about the immersion. So I, I feel like this is going to be the future of retail.